What's up guys, welcome to another Friday Firehouse Fundamental, or AFFF for short, where each week we talk about the basics of financial planning to get all first responders out there on the path towards financial independence. And this week we're talking about an online savings account. So what is an online savings account and how is it different than just a normal account at a big bank that you can access online? Well, an online savings account doesn't have a brick and mortar shop that you can go into. And because they have lower overhead costs, they can pass some of those savings along to you in a higher annual percentage yield. So uh, whereas a, a normal bank might offer you 0.01% uh, annual percentage yield on your savings account, with an online high yield savings account, they'll offer you um, over 1% or a difference in 10 times. So since this is an A triple F, when you're fighting fire, would you rather have 1% foam or 0.1% foam? The, the choice is pretty easy. You have 10 times greater uh, return with that online savings account than you would with just a traditional bank. Um, something that's important to understand also with the online savings account is they are FDIC insured up to typically around $250,000, um, but it varies a little bit um, with each one that you go to. So just make sure you do your homework on that. Okay, so maybe one downside of the online savings account is the money isn't totally liquid. It takes about one to two business days for that money to hit your checking account. So this isn't usually a great place to hold uh, your emergency funds, that initial $1,000 that you're going to need in the case of an actual emergency the the ac goes out uh the car blows up you gotta you gotta get uh that thing fixed right away well it's going to take one to two business days for that money to hit your account so you don't really want that initial a thousand dollars in this one maybe that one is better for a traditional savings account at your local bank where you can get that money right away but this one's a really good one for maybe that three to six months where the living expenses um, if, if something happens and, and you got to be off work for a long time, well, you can plan a little bit and, and plan for that one to two business days to transfer over some money into your checking account from an online savings account that's going to pay you a little bit more over time. Um, but as always, just consult uh, your certified financial planner to help you navigate some of these difficult concepts. So hopefully this was helpful for you, but no matter what you do, take this information, go out there and get some.